first sign of a wife is a virgin. I know a lot of guys didn't like virgins back in the day because they talking about some man, it's hard to get it in. And she was bleeding. Blah, blah, blah. Man, you better cherish those virgin moments. If you can find your virgin, you better keep her. You know what I'm saying? Who, who said it was cool to use somebody else's toilet paper to wear another man's underwear, to brush with another man's toothbrush? You want something used up? You got to be out of your mind and want used up booyami. You got to be very, very deranged to want a used up booyami. Don't you want your own booyami that was brand new, nobody ever touched? Don't you want that? Don't you want that? Who convinced you there's something wrong with a virgin? Man, you come across a virgin, you better keep it. That's the first sign of a wife because she'll be able to pair bond with you. She don't have all them baggage, all them demons from collecting from. She might got demons, but she ain't get it from other men shooting up in, you know, shooting all up. You know what I'm saying? She ain't get it from all that. She didn't get it from all that, bro. The first sign of a wife is a virgin. Most women ain't going to be wife material. Nobody perfect. We're not judging them. Nobody perfect. We're not judging them. You know? We're not judging them, but we are counting the facts. The, what the Bible say a man that finds a wife finds a good thing. So if it must not be everywhere. Anytime the Bible say if you find one, it's special. It must not be everywhere. So you better pray for a wife, brother, and keep your eyes open. If you're a real man of God, and none of us perfect. The prophets wasn't perfect. The disciples wasn't perfect. Nobody was perfect except Jesus. Enoch was a very faithful man. He got taken up in heaven. He didn't even taste death. Elijah didn't taste death either. So you may not taste death either. And nothing is guaranteed, not even death. But uh, stay prayed up, fellas, man. Um, we live in a wild world, bro. You want a wife? If you find a virgin, you are you close. Because women are getting ran through out here. They track stars. Women are track stars out here, man. They running laps. From here to Cancun, to Italy, to Spain, to Jamaica, to Aruba. They going all out. Hot girl summer. They just, they get, they collecting all kind of demons and germs and bacteria from all over the globe. They got bacteria from seven seas. And some of y'all guys think it's cool listening to these songs from these corny rappers. Y'all listening to these songs from these corny rappers and diving head first. Getting all kind of fungus and getting all kind of diseases coming from your lip all the way down to your back. It's not cool, bro. Get you a virgin if you can. If you can, some of you guys don't deserve a virgin, but if you're a man with any discernment, any God in you, you got any fear or reverence of God, you might be a candidate for a virgin. You might be a good candidate for a virgin, bro. Anyway, man, I much love to y'all, man. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. Press the like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. Okay? Um, now, every virgin is not a wife. But that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Because when you get up in that woman, your wife, her them emotions get released on you and you get a connection with her but so many women get they get that blown out of them they get that stripped out of them they be with so many different guys that they lose that sense of bonding pair bonding with a man
Sort of like on Avatar when the tails connect and our pupils go up. Remember that? That's how people supposed to connect. That's how men and women supposed to connect to that. Through intimacy, that, 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 that bond take place, but women get stripped from that. Men don't get stripped from that. But women, that only supposed to be done with one man. Once a woman have over three men, it's the danger zone, man. I'll holler at y'all later. Follow me on Instagram at Alan Reagan and Show. Also, on Instagram, we can have a consultation. You know, or you can get some of my latest books and products. So message me on Instagram and see what's up. If you want some health advice or about your body, your hair, your skin, I got some natural techniques that work for me and many others. And uh, so you can ask me if you want any natural enhancements from foods and stuff that um, I can guide you to. All right, so stay prayed up. Follow me on Facebook at Benguni Maji, B-I-N-G-U-N-I, space Maji, M-A-G-I. Follow me on that, and uh, that's just about it, man. Much love to you. Stay prayed up. I love you, but Jesus love you more, all right? Don't forget to press the like and press the notification bell so you can be notified for the next video. If you have any questions, holler at me on Instagram at Alarie and that show. I'm out.